Good afternoon. It is indeed not Monday. But I will be streaming today. I am insanely frustrated with my Vim setup. Intensely frustrated with my Vim setup. So I need to get that fixed. Hello. Good morning. Afternoon? Evening? Something? Let's do this. That was the wrong one. There we go. Now it doesn't cut off my head. Because my heads are important. Um. Hi. How are you? So, here's what happened. I was working on a fix last night, trying to get some um, All I was trying to do was I was trying to build a GitHub action. It did not work. It was being ridiculously stupid. Um, and it wouldn't work. I couldn't do this. I couldn't fix my Vim. I couldn't... Nothing was working. I couldn't build, I couldn't, all I wanted to do, let me show you. So not in this one. Oh, while we're here, let me just do this. Maybe that's all I have to do. Oh, uh, let's do a restart. What were the copilot commands again? S status? Bug, something is wrong with enabling disabling. I think I need to uninstall and reinstall. Anyway, more of the story is this Vim configuration has been horrible on this machine, and so I'm gonna fit it fix it and make it um work the way I want to. Um And I'm gonna remove all the things I need to remove. Uh, enable all the things I want to enable. Um, and uh, something about migrating Vim to Lu VimRC to Lua, VimScript to Lua, I don't know. Um, I got this installed. So, oh, can I copy the whole thing and then get rid of it? Will it break? Because if you go to the NeoVim, it says it reads both. Oh, 
Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. What the heck? So... Because I have them duplicated, and so it'd be really nice to not have them duplicated. There's nowhere... If you go here, there's something... Yeah, it will be loaded. So if I add that, and th see these two are only in Neovim, but I don't actually remember what they do, so I'm just gonna delete this whole file. So. See? So that's just pulling everything from the Vim one. Hmm. Then why even- what's the purpose of an init.vim? Also, why do people put their configs in Lua? I don't understand why people, anyway. I need to fix all of my Vim. So we're gonna keep this open, right? Because that's fine. But let's go over here to some Go stuff, right? We need this working for Go, we need this working for Rust, and as of yesterday, we need this working for YAML. So, um, another thing I want it working for is uh, SQL. So let's make sure it works well for SQL. So. What was that error? No, I want the error. Stop. Invalid argument in the VimRC. On line 28. Okay. Something about an invalid argument. On line 28, and you can, and that's an invalid argument? What part of this is, what? Or line that, or it's line uh, 106. 106 is a little bit more believable. Yeah, color scheme Nightfly 
doesn't think that exists. It might not exist. I probably downloaded that on my other machine and not this one, which would explain um, everything. I think Nightfly... I don't know where that's from. So let's find Nightfly. It's on Vim... Nightfly colors, and I think that actually is installed. With Vim plug, yeah. Okay. Oh, I have it right there on 14. Oh, now it's there. Cool. So now... I should be able to pull that up and have Nightfly. Sweet. Okay, so now this is working great. Let's go ahead and open main.go. Good, good colors. This is just me messing around with adding spreadsheets. And so if I were to delete this. Okay, I still don't have Copilot working. So let's figure out what the F is wrong with my Copilot. And if nothing, you complete me should be working. So actually, before we do this, so I'm just gonna leave this open for a second. Um the thing that should be working. That is installed. Should be you complete me. Right? That's the big one. So you complete me. Shh. Should install all. And then. I don't need you. I don't honestly think I need any of this. Because I don't think I'm using Syntastic anywhere. I should be using Syntastic, but I'm not. I should add a Syntastic here, because again, should be using it. But that's not the point. The point is you complete me. It's not working. So let's figure out. Installation for Mac OS. I don't need Java support. Don't want Mac Vim. I do know it worked really well with Mac Vim. Um, I need to do the install step for sure. Um... Which means I need to figure out where it's saved. Um, I'm not installing via bundle. But it should work fine anyway. And now that they fix that, I don't need Rosetta garbage. Okay. So I just need to figure out where my Vim plugins are. And that should be fine. With the Go completer. There's also a Rust completer, didn't they say that? So, things Mariah uses. 
I definitely use go. I would like to have rest. Um, and I usually, but I usually just do all, so. Um, that should be fine. How are you doing, Cowtail? Yes, I do work at Tailscale. And, um, Tailscale Sucks is our newest blog post, so. But if you Google that, it doesn't work. So clearly somebody needs to fix their SEO. How are you doing today? See, if you go to tailscale.dev. Right here. Oh, it's not the newest blog post. We have two more because why not? Tailscale sucks. That's kind of a fun blog post, right? Um, the other thing you need to know about Tailscale is we only, uh, rate ourselves based on where our articles are on Hacker News. So if we're not on Hacker News, we're failing. You know, those kinds of things. Um, so what am I doing? I am trying to figure out where my plugins live. They must all live here, don't they? How many of them are duplicated? Yeah, some of them are. Um... That's... Trying to think of what to do with your time that's not building- I thought you were building an automatic sprinkler system. Um, you can... I don't know. Coming up with projects is definitely not my skill set. It's the opposite of my skill set. I, I'm horrible at coming up with projects, so... So what I need to do is go Python. Can't I just do it? Why do I need to do it Python? Can't I just do install dot sh and then do all? Wasn't that the argument that I needed to use anyway? All? Yeah. Oh, that script's de deprecated. Do the Python one instead? Okay. And I don't want to do all because... <laughs> change my mind. I don't want to do all. Let's just do... The, um... Ones that I will use. So... Um, the go completer, the rest completer. Um... So. And the Python completer. I don't do a lot of Python, but... Uh, other projects. I would really like something that would run polls across, uh, right, Twitch has a poll thing, but they're only 10 minutes. Like, I want a long-term poll thing, so if you want to build a service that does that, um, That's, that's one thing that I think would be super nice. Um, I want an API. Not an API, but I would like a scraper. That's something that scrapes a Twitch API. And tells me who in software and technology is live. 
uh, when the moment they go live and the moment they stop being live. Um, cause I would really like to start tracking analytics about what are the heavy use times for software and technology, uh, software and game engineering specifically to kind of see when people are watching that, uh, category, when the hot times for that category are, um, maybe we can start tracking things like raids. When am I most likely like predicting things like when is Mariah most likely to get raids? Um, you know, kind of find an ideal stream time so that I can grow my community. So if you want to build that, that'd be fantastic. You can do that for me. Um, oh, did my uploads finish? Oh, they did. I have been... Uh, trying to, I've just been migrating, um, videos from, uh, my hard drive to my external hard drive. Because we all need to do that, and it just said it, just just said it got done. So that's exciting. It was only 130 gigabytes, you know. And now that I have 130 gigabytes. Um, now that can go there. Ooh. I don't know what to do. I can delete this. Since I don't have Adobe Premiere anymore, I don't want to have all the Adobe Premiere pre-save files, but I also don't want to delete them. They're just useless, so it's like, whatever. You know, it's a conundrum. Yes, but I still need to access the Twitch API to get those analytics. I'm 100% I'm sure that's what tr t Twitch is recording all of that. But the question is, do I have access to that information or not? And if I don't have access to it, then I 100% will do that myself. Um, do I need to do something to get the Python one? Anyway, I'm just curious. I just thought that that would help me. Okay, I'm gonna try doing all now. Um, Cause there are some things I don't have. Okay. Full installation guide on the wiki, whatever. No, I want the... Yeah, I should probably go to the full installation guide. I want to figure out some of the... Not that. Yeah, is this the full installation guide? No. If there's anything I need to add to my RC, though, that's really important. Yeah, I don't want subscriptions. I want views. I want to see who's streaming and how many people are watching. Because, like, subs, yeah, subs make you money. I'm always grateful for subs, but... Oh, there's an ad in progress.
Subs don't get ads. That's the only thing difference is subs don't get ads. So I forgot to let you know that there was an ad coming. There should only be... One ad every... Um, full installation bed, there it is. That's what I needed. Sorry. Sorry about the ads. Um, this is going to be new for me. Especially because of the delay. Uh, so, why am I trying ads? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, they increase the rev share model. So, I make more money, essentially, by running more ads. Um... It's one ad per every hour, and since I only stream for three hours, I didn't think it was that big of an interruption um, to have an hour and 30 minute ad once every three hours. Um, if it is, I'm really sorry. You can um, let me know. Um, the alternative Oh, nice. Uh, the ev events are different on Twitch. They're a little bit... I forget. I forget how Twitch events work. Anyway. My comment is... If you are not okay with one minute and... Uh, minute and 30 second ad every... Hour? Then you can subscribe and pay me five bucks a month. Or do prime subs. They did increase rev share. So now we get 55% instead of like the 45. Um, it is less than it was before. I mean. I guess the thing is. Not supported on any of them. Then it won't matter. Um. It's not as good as uh, rev share for Google ads. Um, but I don't stream, on, uh, I mean on YouTube, but I don't stream on YouTube because I was a YouTube partner that kicked me off. So if somebody's going to unpartnerfy you, um, they don't deserve my stream traffic. So I'm going to, Twitch never kicked me out of the club. They said, hey, you're welcome to join the club, stream, make my, like, I'm not, like, this isn't paying any bills or anything. But, um, so it, it's generally speaking good. Um, they did increase it slightly. I mean, it's still not, not much, but, um, essentially in order to get the increase, you, you, you kind of do have to do the pre, it's to do pre-roll. So, um, again, it's not, I don't think it's anything to like, be super excited about. But it's there. You may find it inconvenient to create... To be able to configure those through Vim options. Don't worry, it's possible using... The YCM Vim Extra Comp Data. Okay. Uh, I did that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I don't have to do anything else. Um...
Okay, so that's all native support. So this should be fine. You completely should be fine. Um, so the other thing I need to make sure is working is Vim Copilot. Oh look, they have it on regular Vim now? Nice. Oh, looks like there's a Copilot setup. Did I run that? Okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and run this then. Already exists and it's not an empty directory. Well, then we can just delete it, right? Just wipe it out and then we'll be fine. Ooh. Can I share? No devices available. So I like to watch my own stream because I am a little bit vain. Also, why not? Um, and uh, it says I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi, which I am probably a good chunk of the time. So, it's just a numbers boost, right? Gotta, gotta beat the system, right? Beating the system. Um, yes. Like I said, they were getting less. It's basically, unless you're choosing to let the ads manager continuously roll ads throughout your video, you're going to get less money than you were before. So that's 100%, yeah. Like, the percentage of rev share may have gone up for the user, but, like, the the mechanism is a little bit more inconvenient. Let's delete it. Oh yeah, this won't work. And it's this isn't anything new. This is just something that I have not set up. And so I figured, but people I've been watching use it. So I figured I might as well try. I just need to keep a better eye on the ads manager so that um, I can like snooze it. I can delay an ad run if it's in the middle of something. Um, I just need to, it is, that's a directory? <laughs> hey, Lulu. So, I just need to make sure, I just need to do a better job of managing it. And so now if I do it. Yeah, maybe it just need to be updated. Also... I don't know why it didn't work the other way. And maybe it'll break again. Who knows? Who knows? I never know, to tell you the truth, what's, what's, uh, if things are going to run correctly or if they're going to break. That is always up in the air for me. Um, did that setup finish? No, it's still running. Okay, so while I'm there, let's ask a question. Um, we should just start asking. 
Um, yeah. Basics of Luba in Neovim. I, I guess I don't understand what the benefit of using Lua over a Vim RC are. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at. I know people do it, um, but I don't understand the benefits. And so maybe this is a good use case for asking these two at the same time. What are the pros and cons? Not that proc. Oh. And cons of doing of using Lua for your NeoVim configs over a dot vim rc file. Right, because right now the VimRC is doing everything I need it to do. No, I don't want to post it in that stupid group. This guide will go through the basics of using Lua in NeoVim. It's not meant to be a comprehensive encyclopedia of all the features, nor will it dedicate all intricacies. You're learning webhooks today. I'm s Good luck. Webhooks are fantastic. I think they are an incredibly underutilized tool. As an important thing to note, this is that it isn't guide to the Lua language itself. Is written in C. I don't understand this. Um, good luck with webhooks, though. Okay. Um, so then the question, this is still running its setup. Will Copilot, what if Copilot setup take, how long should Copilot setup take? I did that. Do I have Node.js installed? Um, how do you check if Node.js is installed? That's what I thought. Okay, I do have it installed. Oh, that's what I thought. It should take like 10. This should be done. I don't know why Copilot takes 12 years. I do have Node installed. So we're good there. Ooh, I have NPM installed as well, I believe. Yeah, I do. They are probably not up to date because I don't use them very much, but I do have them. You know, that's always good. Okay. So, unexpected error agent. Let's see. Vim plug. Oh, no, plugins. It's called plugins. So, let's do a plugin status. Everything so far is okay. Um, let's do <laughs> go binaries update. No. Update binaries. Yeah, those probably need to be updated. Um, Cause I don't think I update them since I downloaded Go in twenty. Um, oh, that's what I can do. No JS is pretty convenient. Yes, I just refuse to use it. I don't deny it. its convenience as a scripting language. I just if I have to do something in a scripting language, I'm not using that one. I'll use Python. Um, okay, this one is still broken. Uh, 
Why are you still broken? Um, go projects, meetup, web scraper. That's the one we were literally on. Um, what's my Vim version? I'm using NeoVim. Um, do not look at my credentials.json. Oh, that's not what I want. Um, oh, I was gonna actually make a directory. And... Actually, I have this. I can just... NVIM GitHub... Uh, workflows go YAML. This is fine. And we'll do this. I need to actually update that token. So... Cool. I don't know... Oh, the min version? Yes. Um, but I'm on- it, for NeoVim it's, uh, 0 0.5. And it looks like I am on 0 0.8, so we should be fine for, um, uh, co-pilot, right? Where did my co-pilot stuff go? That wasn't it. That was it. There it is. Um. I should actually... What is... How do you update NeoVim? It should be on 9. I think I brew installed it. Should we check that? Yeah, I definitely brew installed that. Brew updates, upgrade, and Vim. Actually, I should probably just brew upgrade everything, right? I just installed Podman today. Again, I don't think this is going to be the make or break between Copilot, but it might be because it did say to the latest patch. So. Um, there's that. Um, I don't know if this will fix it. I don't know, I just ran a brew update. Okay. Let's go back to our VimRC. Um, since we're here, we can do copilot setup. There we go. It just needed to be updated. Cool. Okay, go test is fine, nerd tree is fine. Um, yeah, I needed to check Syntastic. That was the one I needed to check. Thank you for that suggestion to uh, check my Vim thing, my version. No, I don't. Vim plug is what I'm using. Yeah, I know. It's fine. 
I just need to Syntastic is newer options on all click I have that plug in, so I'm fine. Oh, then I don't need it. I'm removing this if I don't need it. I don't need things I'm not using, right? Okay, and then, okay, the Neo format, that one's new. I just got this one yesterday. Um, I just have to run Neo format to format the entire buffer. And I have it setting, is there a way to do it on save? Oh, was it that quick? You're an expert on my hooks now? go. Copilot's working. Um, cool. I have this docker file then. I don't think, I don't think I'm using it. So if I need to, and let's Let's figure out, let's figure this one out. Not that one. It's called Eka Linen Docker. Actually, I need to figure out why I can't copy to the clipboard. Cause it, it drives me insane. I should be able to just yank to the clipboard. Can copy text to the real clipboard by. Okay. The clipboard. Okay. For now, the other place which kicks is called the real to avoid. Um, okay. Oh, my ad's about to start. My ad starts in five minutes. I'm going to snooze it for five minutes, which means the ad will start in ten minutes. Um, that or I can start it early. I, see, I am not using Lua, and that's what I'm trying to understand. You can do the setup completely the same between NeoVim and Vim. I do not understand the value of Lua. If you don't like using the mouse, you can access... No, I wanna... I, I... This is only for Windows. 
Anyway, I don't understand. I, I'm not using any Lua because I used Vim before. Um, and I just, you can use the same setup. So I didn't, I guess I want to always yank it to the clipboard. Anyway, um, I'm gonna, anyway, so I don't, I've never set up Lua, so, um, I just don't have it. That's pretty much where it's at. Okay, let's do that. Cool. So now, if I go here, and I go yank, can I go over here? Okay, I've needed that my whole life. My entire life. Oh my gosh, that's been the biggest pain. I don't know why. And I, yeah, I just want it on the yank. Just on the yank is all I need. Sorry. Um. Cool. Um, we were looking at the... <laughs> Why was I even doing that? Because I couldn't do this. I wanted to do this. That's all I wanted to do, was copy that, and paste it. Okay, Vim, Syntax, and Snippets. Um, yeah. Okay, I have it installed, which is fine. Great, but that, what else does it do? All it does is it, oh, it just lets me format it, so it recognizes it, that's fine. That's a little stupid, but it's fine. Uh, what does Vim Easy Align do? I don't know. I don't think I need this. Yeah, I don't... I'm gonna delete that one. That's fine. I don't care if the Vome Chrome overrides my Vim clipboard. I honestly think that would be super helpful a good chunk of the time. What does this one do? If it comes back to bite me, then I will do it something else. Oh, is this just a color scheme that I'm not using? Okay. That's fine. I forgot what Vim Be Good does. It 
It was like a game, right? Yeah, that was a game. Okay. So that's good. Cool. Um... But I've never actually used it, so I was like, oh, this is a great idea, and then I didn't use it. What does... I have this. But I forget what it does. Do I use uh, FZF? Um, not to my knowledge. Uh, it doesn't look like I do. Should I use FZF? Auto completion demon for the Go programming language. Well, that's definitely not working. Plus, Copilot does this way better than any of the other things I've used so far. So, I'm going to delete you. Um, because that seems to work fine. Um. Cool. Oh, I, no, I don't use Fuzzy, fu fuzzy Finder. I use Rip, rip grip's the only thing I've ever used for searching. I don't know what Fuzzy Finder is. It's by that same guy. No, I've used I use Rip Grip for all of my finding and I love it. I love Rip Grip. It's so nice. Cool. Is there anything else that I've been wanting off the top of my head that I can think I, I mean not that I can think of obviously Um, so I guess I'm kind of, oh, the ad's starting soon. Um, I'm gonna, I'll see you in a minute. And we will, uh, check on some ZSH stuff.
With the buffer, I'm probably back. So... You have Harpoon? Primogen Harpoon? Or is, that, is it in his dot files? Oh, this. Oh, okay. I see. That looks fun. Oh, and he uses Lua. That looks fun. I mean, I don't know how I would start using it, essentially. Um, because I don't... Definitely do not use Vim to the level that Primogen does. I am not a Zen master like he is. He is definitely... Like, several light years above me, so, um, yeah, I have ZSH, that usually updates it all by itself, I use, um, I actually, my, want to have a new thing I don't need that I'm just double checking the doc see if anything's happened I have this installed so I'm not worried and it does let's change that to auto update Oh, okay. So basically, Lua is just easier to create plugins in. It's not necessarily easier for management. Is that what you're saying? No. Um. Well, I haven't made any of my own, so... That's probably why I don't really care. I, I've only ever used Vim ones. I've never used, like, any Lua-specific um, plugins. So, that's probably why I don't understand what's going on. I was looking through this the other day. Oh, I'm using the theme Awesome Panda. I don't even know if that's installed. Um, so, well, I, I, I just, I know there was a minute where like all of my colleagues were migrating everything from them script to Lua and I just, I never understood why they were migrating from Vim script to Lua. I also don't know how you would migrate from Vim script to Lua, because doesn't that mean that all the plugins also have to be maintained in Lua? So, you know. that That's basically where I'm at. I'm just looking if I want a new... This one's kind of fun. Oh, I think my TV's talking because I put myself on the- I was trying to figure out who was speaking in my house. 
but I've projected my stream onto my TV. So just myself. I am just speaking to myself and this is a nice one. I like the floating terminal. But like I've never found a team a, a theme that I necessarily liked more than just the basic one that I have. So why even try? Um, the thing that I was going to look at was the plugins. Um, if there was any plugins I wanted to look at. Now, where's the plugins? Is that in the wiki? Yeah, plugins. Oh, thanks for sharing your BIMRC. I'll definitely pull it up and take a look at it. Oh, you use Jedi? Um, I had Jedi installed a long time ago. But the truth is, is I just don't do a lot of Python. And, like, th I basically only do Go, so... Oh, you got a lot of stuff set in. So, and there's your plug. Fugitive, yeah, that's what I have. Um, Vim Go, I have that one. Nerd Tree, obviously. Um, you have a lot more custom stuff than I do. Which is probably when Lua starts coming up, right? When you want to start customizing. Um, plugins. Ooh, there's a 1Password plugin? Oh! It's to use the CLI. Um, I don't need to- I love 1Password. I don't have a need to use the CLI. Ansible, we use Ansible at work. But I don't need shortcuts. I do use the Git plugin. I had the Chuck Norris plugin installed once. But I couldn't quite figure out what to do. Um, colorize. With this plugin, you can syntax highlight file contents. Like if I was to cat them? Because again, Vim does that. How do I execute bash functions in ZSH? ZSH? Well, I mean, I can use the bash command. Right, which would just do it, or I can schmod it, and as long as I own it and it's an executable file, I can execute it just fine. So, um, I haven't had any problem with bash files. Um, I mean, I do... Docker Compose, Docker. I just installed Podman, so why on earth would I want a Docker plugin? Right? Um, oh look, there's FCF. Aren't we just talking about that? Get ignore. Ooh, Go has one. Go plug in. Go, ooh. Go work. Provide access to workspaces. Go list. Go M. Go, ooh. Go doc. Go clean. Go PS, GAR, go test, go TA, go T. I'm gonna install this. I'm going to have to bookmark this though. I have to, every time, see, I have a cheat sheet there, so I'll make a new folder. New folder. Uh, and not in there. Oh, I think it's fine. New folder. Uh, Edit. Delete. New folder. No, not in taxes. Nobody even does taxes. Delete. 
Okay, in bookmarks, new folder. O M Z S H. Oh. Yeah, no, I just I just execute them like you execute all other files. Yeah, so this is an OMZSH. I am definitely going to install Golang. Um, so where is my git? Uh, stop that. Oh, uh, it's called Golang. Uh, cool. Auto-completion for the Go programming language Helm Heroku History. Um, oh, that's nice. HS and HSI. History, we're adding. Oh, and Copilot's working. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. Van should... Okay, I'm saying you're- I'm just gonna call you Van, because otherwise I would mess up your name. Thanks for that sub! Oh my gosh, you've been super... First of all, you've been incredibly helpful today. I've loved our conversations, and I'm just so excited. How does I turn? What? I- I already am in I term, so I- uh... Oh, adds a few- Hi, back Black. I'm gonna call you Black T because I don't know. Um, I've been using Neobim for a while. Why did I decide to switch? Um, I was using MacVim, and then uh, after using MacVim, like then I just started using BI. And then I switched to NeoVim because I knew there was more functionality. Uh, I switched to NeoVim because Copilot. I got access to GitHub Copilot. And Copilot was only on NeoVim at the time. Actually, the plugin also plays. Yeah, the iTerm integration, plugin commands, iTerm command, profile. I term color reset. Oh, okay. So it doesn't really do anything besides updating profiles. I don't use that function of I term, so it's fine. I don't need it. Um, anyway, so I originally HTTPIE. Ooh, this might be interesting. No. A friendlier curl replacement? Curl's pretty friendly. Um, cube control. I don't use Kubernetes anymore. I want this. Um, does it work with LSP? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it. NeoVim it works great with LSP, actually. Um, and I am adding Cube Control. I don't use it, but I'm definitely going to add it. Um, for back when for when I start using it again. Uh, yeah, it works great with LSP. I mean, it's been working with GoPlease fantastically. It also works with the Rust language server. So, um, all of the, I guess it, with all of the language servers I use, um, yeah, I'm not doing cat speak. Um, Mac OS. Oh my goodness. I may actually want this. At least for my... Yeah, I want this because I use Mac. Um, so yeah, it's been working really well with LSP. With, oh, does Copilot work with LSP? Yes. Copilot works fantastic with LSP. Um, I mean, to be fair, Copilot works better with... Uh, Copilot's been I I the prediction on I, I use it mostly for like um completion essentially. I don't use Mercurial, don't use Mac ports. Man. Ooh, that's nice. 
the pre- I don't use man enough. I need to use man more. And all that does is go to the previous one. That's nice. Um, nah, node, NVM, OZ, pod, pod. Oh, I don't know what Cocoa Pods are. Pipe and oh, pip and I don't use pip and Python Rails rake, Rust. Oh, it this says Rust C completion, as if yeah. It works great with LSP. Um, I I I mean, if it didn't work with LSP, I think we would have a problem. Um, shell proxy SDK. No, I don't need that. Pseudo. No, that would make more sense if I was on a Linux machine. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I might need that. Uh, there's a lot of really nice things with this. Um, oh, Terraform would be so nice for work, but I don't use... Here's the theme. Term tab. Terminator. Nah. I do that on my Linux VM, and I don't have this running on Linux at all. Um, VS Code... Vim interaction called Vim, whose usage is run a command in GVim before editing the file. Yeah, I don't need that. Um, VS Code, I have that one. Xcode, I don't need. Zeus, Z, Yarn. Um, I think we're fine. VI mode, I think, yeah. URL tools. Um, I really like uh, OMZSH. Um, it's fantastic. Tmux? Was there a Tmux? Obviously, I didn't care because of how much I actually use Tmux. Oh, look! Tmux! Tmuxinator! Uh, this plugin provides a complexion completion for Tmuxinator. Oh, Tmuxinator is an actual tool? Yeah, a lot of these are just completion. And that, a lot of, uh, I guess, the tools that use completion with Bash don't really need it. Oh, it's a multiplexer. Ooh. This actually might be a really, really good Tmux one. If I use Tmux enough. Okay. I think I'm okay with those. Um... And then I have my profile, which just has some generic aliases I use. Um, I have some work ones. I oh, look, Docker to Podman. Yes. Um, and then anything that's specific I have in secrets, um, like things for work, things I don't necessarily need to have everywhere. So we're good. Add the sh commands. Okay, there's a couple of things that I have hanging out on the repo as it is. Um, yeah, so let's just check out my existing branches. Um, I'm not too worried about, like, to be fair. I'm not too worried about keeping main clean. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, let's just check out my branches. Okay, so I have two that are open. Work Mac and Fix Vim. I did... I think I pulled work Mac down, but the truth of it is, I think I just removed, I, I already, 
I forked off of it. So I think I can close this. And then just clean up the other one. Then we should be good to go. I think that's a good stream. Um, yeah, before we... Uh... Is there anything else we should do? As I clean this up... Let's go ahead. I'm adding a poll. If we want to make this a little bit longer, feel free to vote and let me know if I should edit my VS code at all. If not, um, uh, changes are in PR number four. Yeah. So I don't need this. Um, What? It's saying six minutes to another ad, so... Hurry up and vote on that poll before we um, get to the ad, and then I can roll the ad as soon as that pulls up and... Um, We can come to the VS Code stuff afterward. Merge conflicts, gotta love them. Configure VS Code as Vim. Uh, I have started that. Um, I do have at least the Vim plugin on, which even though I have the Vim plugin on, it's not as good as it could be. Plugins and misc float term. What's float term? Well, I've got more. Oh, I do. Oh, I forgot about that. Um. Oh, I'll never have to colon Q again with float term.
Interesting. So I got more. This should be the part where I deleted everything, right? Cool. I want to keep this because I also remember that being super nice. Um, oh yeah, I got rid of all this garbage. I have, ooh, there is one for edit that. So we will edit that. I've never tried using Vim Fugitive for merge conflicts. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, I am so used to, I forget that I have Vim Fugitive like 60% of the time. Um, it is fantastic, but I do forget about it quite a bit, like quite, quite often. So cool. I'm going to go ahead and run an ad, uh, get that break out of the way, and then I'll get my VS code open and ready to set up the configs. Um, and... Somebody needs to just say, Mariah, use Vim Fugitive. Because that's honestly... Um, what I need to do. This is a... I will be amazed. Okay, I am back. Uh, somebody was talking about Lua. I am ready to be amazed. Oh. What the heck is this? Yeah, but like... Oh, this does... Oh, this uses the Fugitive. Oh my goodness. Right now, I already merged it, so there aren't any. But if I were to just, like, do this, right? Oh, my global clipboard copy's gone. I need to add that back. What? What's updating their software? Vim. No, NVim. Clipboard copy. No, 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 no. Nope. 
No, on Mac. I needed it on Mac OS. Global clipboard. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm sure I'm sure you were right, and I just didn't understood what you said. Oh yeah, it was this. Oh, it worked with MacVim, but it doesn't work with NeoVim. Okay. Okay, sorry. Now I'm gonna use Vim Fugitive. Right? And so you wanted me to do GDIF. Oh, that's nice! Well, get add. Get commit. There we go. Get push. See, I'm just so used to right quit A. That's what I do. I just right quit A, and then I do everything back to normal. So now, honestly, what the heck? Yeah. Why are we on Python? This isn't Python. This is Vim. Oh. Well then, just pretend like it's text file. Oh my goodness. Um, account sign in? Yeah, I know. Manage trusted extensions. Additional views. Extensions. Reload or oh, I'm Disable. I don't want that. I'm gonna have to reload all of my extensions. I also probably need to update, because I don't use VS Code. I just want to copy from Vim to the global clipboard. That's pretty much all I care about. And then the other way around, if I can do um, colon P, that's just fine. Like, honestly. Just fine. Um, like, I honestly don't care. What? What about my extensions? What did it say was wrong? Oh, it's right here. Uh, show conflicts! Oh my gosh, you're in the way. Just... Two, seven, zero! Thank you for that follow, nice to have you here! How are you doing today, two, seven, zero? Are you a Vim user as well? I just want this gone. Oh my gosh. Go away. Thank you. So, remote. When does it change to be different? Oh. Live share. Do 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 Oh, right here. Oh, and it should be from ports. Okay. What did I need to do? Reset? I don't know. What was I doing? Extensions. Why do I have that extension? 
Um, no, yes, I will take Google Cloud because I do use that on this computer. Whatever. Um, I have a lot of extensions. Vim to NeoVim. Oh, this is deprecated. Uh, uninstall. Uninstall. I switched a while ago to NeoVim, but my, um, everything broke. All of my, um, by the way, this is the .json file, just in a GUI. All of my settings were broken, and so I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I had to fix it, and so we went through, we deleted a lot of stuff. I mean, I got it working. I, the only thing I don't have is, like, I have a lot of stuff from Vim. So all of my plugins I've ported from Vim. I haven't necessarily gotten any new, like, Lua plugins, though. That would make my life easier. And so that's, um, the problem. Oh my goodness! Thank you for that Prime sub. I can't, I, I'm super grateful for that. We are now, this is the closest I have ever been to a sub goal, guys. I have never been this close to a sub goal. This is amazing. I'm so glad that we ended this. Right now, um... Right now, I'm just double-checking my VS Code stuff. I did pull up VS Code yesterday when my Vim was exploding. Um, so, I just need to double-check this, make sure I know what's going on. Um, I did I did push a, the PR up. Right, so over here, not here. The PR with all of my Vim changes is right here so what i do need if anybody has any recommendations for life-changing neovim exclusive plugins um so that i have to start doing configurations in lua that would be amazing peek and go to I just, I always like the peak. I don't know what I would need that to. So that's, I think, the big thing is, like, I don't know. Like, I'm really comfortable with how it is. I don't know what to add. And there's so many cool plugins that I should be able to add stuff. Right? Like, that should be a big multi-cursor. No. Padding. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, tab completion on. Tab completion is amazing. Word break normal. Oh, I don't need that because I only use English. But, yeah. <laughs> Quick suggestion delay. Screen reader announce inline. I don't need a screen reader. A lot of these seem to be... I don't need any of these. I don't want, I want Copilot to do all the work here. 
If it if if copilot like I don't need IntelliSense if I have copilot, right? Packer and Telescope are your first two go-to plugins. I use um, Vimplug is what I'm using right now for my package manager. That's not going to work. Ooh, nice. Oh, so this is... Packer is the package manager. Oh, that's nice. Um, that might be good if I, like... For when I, when I start committing. Packer seems nice. Okay. I don't do any UI stuff. No, that's fine. I don't like autosave. Don't want to exclude patterns. That's not the right one? Okay, I'll wait. Single click's nice. Oh my goodness. They have added so many color themes. This now matches my eye term. NVIM telescope. That's not the one I had open. I thought it was. Oh, that's definitely not the one. There we go. Oh, it's a fuzzy finder. We were just talking about fuzzy finders. Me and, um... Me and Van were talking about Fuzzy Finders. Um, I was telling him, I really like Rip Grip. And I don't know if I need anything else. See, I could just... There, there's Vimplug. <laughs> um, NeoVim LSP is an optional dependency. Um, I wonder how many of my Vim plugins I can use with Pecker. That's a good question. That'll have to be my next thing, because after I, I, I do need to probably get back to working on real things now that I have set up. Oh no. You should just always do that. Breadcrumbs. Uh, no, I don't know why I need that. Breadcrumbs are enabled, so that's fine. Why does it think the terminal should be a thing? You're my text editor, I have a terminal. Right? Fine. Um, Zen mode. Screencast mode. I don't use that. What the heck? Okay. Um, let's go to my extensions. Where did you go? That's up here, right?
Oh, it's Command Shift P. That's not what I wanted. They are over here. No. Chat. Oh, I didn't install that. Why would I want that? No. Uninstall. Uninstall. Um, I do use this. I use Hugo. I do use this for Hugo. Why the heck would I have that? They should all be gone now. Oh yeah. Uh, extension settings? Um. Command line mode key bindings. What is easy motion? Sure. This is my- I only have one. Where does that go? Yeah, I use a NeoVim config file. Thank you. Cool, override copy. What is the sneak plugin? Now we're good. I don't use it, so... Why do they have plugins here that I don't have in my VIM? Okay. Um... Okay. That's good. Now I just need to sync it, right? Um, sync now. Cool. Cool, cool. Well, you guys have been awesome. I am going to call it a day. And get back to my work work. Um, hopefully Jordan's streaming. It's been a while since... I've seen him streaming. Um, but I never know. I don't know who streams anymore. Um, nobody... There's so much game dev. So much. Um, so. Thank you for hanging out with me today, for your Vim suggestions, for the subs. We've had an awesome sub day. Um, 
and for uh, making sure I know how to do global copies and for supporting this new ad style. Um, I will be back on Monday and we'll do some more fun, 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 fun things. Hopefully Monday we get to start doing rest. So that's my goal. See you guys.